So if you're from the channel, you know I've been doing F sharp tutorials, and you know that's been good. Uh, talking about the basic stuff, the really async uh, syntax, stuff like that. But it, it's there's an itch that needs to be scratched. At the end of the day, we're here to make stuff and build stuff. And knowing, yes, I can make a video about each tool in the toolbox, but that doesn't really satisfy what we want. We want to make something. And not you, probably, if you're learning F Sharp, you want a real world example where you know what the best practices are, how to make an architecture, what, uh, what open source projects to use, and really how to deliver a high quality, well crafted, tested code. And that does something for someone that's really relevant. So that's the goal, that's the idea with this project. So what are we gonna be building is we're gonna be building a stock market monitoring system. So what is that? So going down in memory lane, uh, I started writing code in university. So my, my first year I went to, I did uh, computer engineering here in Sherbrooke and uh, I started learning code. Like I started writing C++ and Java, had an internship and I was around very like finance driven people. So like I would say three, three of my six closest friends at the start of university. Well, they, they weren't close back then, but now they are close. So, so I just, they're, they're uh, my brother's friends or whatever. And a lot of them were in finance and I didn't know anything about finance and they knew I want, I, I was basically learning how to program. And so one, one of the guys, uh, had this like trading model where they wanted to test out if uh, their trading algorithm w would work in the real market. So, uh, we basically made, I basically made a trading system, an automating trading system. And this was like, I barely knew how to code. I like, I, I learned C++ a little bit because of school. And then I had one internship where I learned Java. So it was just like Java application. And it was like incredibly bad in the sense of like, I didn't know what I was doing. And it was just like throwing a bunch of stuff together, just writing functions like global mutable state, this kind of weird state machine based on enums. Like it was, it was great how bad it was. And, uh, you know, integrating with the interactive brokers API. So with that API I can go into a real world account, extract, you know, how much money there is to trade. I can grab the stock market data and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty cool stuff. Like with the, like knowing basically nothing about programming. Well, okay. It wasn't basically nothing. I'd, I had a, a, like a, a base, you know, I had a, a 50% of, of like whatever. I had, I had a small base of one year, I think, or a few months of programming. And it got to a certain point, it's pretty cool. You know, we, uh, at one point we left it running, like for real, like we tested in real world and, you know, made some trades and stuff. And honestly it didn't make any money because man, I, I didn't have any money to trade at the time. And our strategy sucked. So you like, even though you can write an automated trade system, you need a you need a strategy to, to really fulfill that. And so, you know, I didn't have any money, so I kind of left that aside. I didn't really follow the start market at all. But then recently, uh, with this whole GME craziness, uh, I've been kind of, you know, it piqued my interest again. And so uh, I think this is a good opportunity to make a cool system where I can get like analytics of what would be some interesting stocks based on a few indicators that I defined and a few like maybe following some fundamental metrics uh, of a given stock ticker and, and the company and stuff like that. So we can do a lot of, like a lot of cool things. And the beauty of this is like, if you really think about it, um, data API integration front end, like this, this project would be perfect to show off a lot of features, a lot of features of F sharp a lot of how, how to, how to design a system. What was like, what's the importance? Uh, what do you do first? How you prioritize things? Like there's so many things we can go into and talk in depth about. And I feel if you're learning how to program, you probably don't have firsthand experience of what that design process is like, how to, how to make these decisions, what, what technologies to use, uh, how to make, how to design your system to be testable or, or something like that. So there's just like a wealth of discussions we can go through and I can follow you along, take you by the hand and have that real tutorial 
on how to make a real system that achieves a real goal in the real world so you can use F Sharp in your own projects and do crazy shit, <laughs> like do, do like in, uh, crazy stuff. So I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to this. I've been thinking about it for a little bit and I just keep getting comments about, oh man, I'd like to see like how you do database stuff or how to see like a real world example and stuff like that. So I think this is like the perfect time to do it because I basically covered most of what I want to talk about. Like obviously I didn't cover um, type providers or uh, didn't uh, like active patterns, error management, stuff like that. But what's perfect is we'll have great opportunities to talk about it because let's say at the point we're going to implement the database, we can just do like how to do database in F sharp and we'll have a concrete example of what to do and uh, everybody can follow along and stuff. So it's great for the tutorials. It's great for people who just want to have a good idea of how to design code in F sharp, which there's, I feel a lack of hands-on uh, video tutorials for. And so, yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. Now, this is going to be a big project. It's going to take a lot of my time. It's going to be pretty ambitious. What do I ask in return? Well, I ask you to like the damn video and please comment down below, comment anything. Apparently comments are really good for the algorithm. Just say hi, just say algorithm, or just ask a question. That'd be pretty cool. And subscribe because I'm actually trying really hard to grow this channel and a lot of people are liking the content. And eventually it'd be really cool to invite more developers and like from other communities to learn F sharp and do stuff, help the adoption of adoption of F sharp, which is something I'm really passionate about. And so you can be part of that too, by just clicking like commenting, that'd be really good. So subscribe for more. And hopefully you're excited for this. Let me know if you're excited or not, or if it's a complete waste of time, let me know now before I throw away many hours into this, but, uh, no, I think you'll enjoy it, and uh, I hope you do. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in that next video. Peace!